You got I, it! Yeah! I got him! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> everybody welcome back to the channel Colin J here and it's currently nighttime okay and we're hanging out in the middle of the city we got our headlights on what in the world are we doing <laughs> I'll tell you we're doing some inner city herping today okay there's a bunch of ditches that run throughout town and uh, we're hopeful that with the temperature being a little bit warmer and some of these big rains we've had that maybe there will be some salamanders out and about in these ditches okay we've got a couple of locations that we're going to be hitting the first one that we're at right now is one that has proven to be a really really good site for finding salamanders and we're hoping that the second site we go to we'll be able to find something even more extraordinary we're not sure but we're hopeful we're and if we don't very hopeful and if we don't find them today we are confident that we'll find them sometime in the near future so without further ado let's start hiking our way up this creek and see what we can find we're, we're literally right in the middle of town it's crazy to think that you can find these creatures out here but let's go do it let's do it Guys, I'm not sure if you can see that. That is a giant siren. That is a big siren right here in this culvert. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let me see if I can get up close to it. Oh, that thing is huge, Jay. That siren is humongous. Okay, I've got the net. Let's trade. That's a big siren, Jay. That is huge. You see how big that is? Okay. Just in case I don't catch it. <laughs> Look at that dragon, guys. That is lurking in this tiny ditch right off the side of the road. He's huge. I know he's huge. He's humongous. Okay, you got this. I don't do don't let him get away. Okay. I got him. You got him? I got him. Look at this. Oh my oh word! Oh my word, guys. That is a gigantic siren. Oh my gosh. Look how fat that thing is. That thing is literally a dragon. Wow. Oh my. Can you see him, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> that, oh thing my is gosh. that thing is built like a pipe. My goodness, guys. Look at the size of this western lesser siren. Huge. It's, it's humongous. We have cars going everywhere. That's like a 16, 15 inch siren. <laughs> Look at the colors on it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Golly. Oh wow. Look, he's just trying to dig back down, trying to find the mud. He's perfectly okay out of the water right now. Holy cow. Okay, let's get him in the bucket. And we got another big one. Oh, there he is. Woo! In the net. Yes! Yes! Look at that. Our second big old siren. Wow. Oh my god. Woohoo! Look how big that dude is. He might be bigger than the last one. <laughs> Holy smokes, these sirens are big out here. Here, let's get up here so we can... Another one! Another one! Got, Got him. him. Got oh him. Got god. him. We got two in the net. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, guys. Let's get up here so we can get a look at him. Oh, wow. Like, this is like an average size one right here, the smaller one. And you can see how big that bigger one is next to it. Holy smokes, those are beautiful. Beautiful salamanders, and they're so crazy looking. We'll get them up closer for you guys whenever we, you know, get a smart where we can sit down and show them to you. But wow, right in the middle of town, these people are driving by, they have no idea that these guys exist out here. Okay, let's put them in the bucket. We'll release them here in a minute. Why don't jump out? Guys, are you serious? Can y'all see the size of that siren down there? Oh my goodness. That thing is enormous. Grab 
camera. Oh my gosh. Right here in this culvert where I'm hanging out, we peeped over and saw the largest siren I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life and we somehow managed to get it in the net. It was a, it was crazy. He's tried to get away and luckily we got this beast. Isn't that incredible? Looks just like a giant eel, but it's a salamander. Look how big his head is. Look at the size of that thing's head and the girth on this thing's body. And he's got this giant flappy paddle tail. And these tiny, tiny little eyes. Tiny little feet. Humongous. I don't know how long that is. But we're gonna put him in the bucket. This was almost a very, very exciting find. So we're out here looking for salamanders in general. There's a couple different species. The smallmouth salamander, which is a four-legged mole salamander and then the siren and then this is the this is the guy that we're after primarily and unfortunately this is not a live specimen but this is that three-toed infuma it's one of my favorite salamanders these guys this is a smaller one okay so that largest siren that we just caught is about the same length as this infuma but this is a small infuma these guys can reach up to lengths of up to 40 inches long and greater they look like a pipe, like the size of my arm. Gigantic creatures. I mean, often mistaken for eels, but these are in fact amazing aquatic salamanders. So this is a three-toed infuma. Unlike the siren, these guys lack those external gills. They breathe air. They come up to the surface and gulp air. And they have these tiny little limbs. Teeny tiny, and they have three little toes on them. And they have four. The siren only has two, but you can see it has one and two. And then on his back leg back here, the other one's kind of roasted off. Here's a third little limb. Now, I'm not sure what happened to this little guy, but I wish he was alive. And I really hope we get the chance to find a live specimen tonight. That would be incredible. We've already had an incredible night so far. Another thing I want to look, I want to show you guys, these guys have a very similar lifestyle to those sirens. They have that really wedge-shaped head, which helps them burrow down in this really soft mud and loose leafy substrate. These tiny little eyes, so if you're a burrower, you don't need big eyes. They have these tiny little eyes, and they have this big mouth. Let's see if I can open it. And they can open that mouth, and they just devour crawfish, snails, tiny fish, tadpoles, just about anything. And this guy's actual favorite meal out here is the siren. So maybe this guy dying is, is doing the sirens a favor because if this guy were to get big, he could demolish the siren population out here. So maybe it is a good thing that this guy isn't alive out here. Fix and release the siren back into the ditch. Oh, he's so big. This is our smaller siren we got. Just as stunning. And back in the ditch. Look at those gills. That's amazing. Hang on, bud. We just drove a couple miles out of town to another location that we like to check out for uh, snakes and salamanders. We're hoping to find a giant three-toed infuma here tonight. There's a great chance. It's a little bit early. Norm normally, we don't find them this early in the year, but we've had a couple warm days, and we're hoping that they're emerging. It'd be awesome. And since we found that one at the first site, I'm confident. So, there's a car coming. We're fixing to hike this way down these ditches. We're going to go up and down. It's about like a 300-yard stretch of water, of good water. And uh, we'll see what we can find. No. You got him? Oh, I missed him. I had him. The net bent. Oh no. There's one right there. Get that light on, Shiny. Oh, no. You got it? Yeah. 
I got him. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Oh my God. Jesus, huge. Yes. Guys, we got oh Nan Fuma. He almost got out of the net. My light is so dull. We're using like five flashlights here and can't see crap. <gasps> Guys, we got an Amphuma. <gasps> oh my gosh. We found that dead one at the last site. That is the three toed Amphuma. Amphuma tridactylum. Oh my gosh. That one I just missed was going to haunt me for the rest of the trip if we didn't find this one. It's a wonderful night. The weather's looking terrible for the next few days. It's going to get cold. They're going to go back in the, in the ground and not be active. Most likely. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Please shut up. Look at that spade on his head. Those teeny tiny eyes. I think I'm on the road. And look at him. He's just going to slink on the road. Looks like an eel. That's a big one. I mean, it's not a giant one. They get bigger. This is a good sized one. Don't bite me either. He's got these four teeny tiny legs. See those tiny little back legs? Yeah. They get the three toed Infuma name because they only have three toes. There is a one toed and a two toed species. This is the only one native to Arkansas. You would never think that these guys live in these ditches. I'm telling you guys. We're a little bit further from the city now. But that is an incredible salamander. Arkansas's largest salamander for sure. Well, to say that we accomplished our goal would be an understatement. We got out here, I missed that first one. I mean, I got so excited because it was a big one. It was bigger than the one that I caught and I just botched it and I thought that I blew it and we weren't gonna find any more. But luckily, the very last second, the lights were going dull, I caught this one and uh, I'm so excited. I haven't, I haven't caught one of these in probably over a year just because I haven't been up here. And Jay and I decided that we wanted to bring this Amphuma back to our home and get this really awesome aquarium set up for it. It's been a dream of ours to have these giant salamanders in captivity at our house, and uh, we think that we can provide a good home for it. And uh, you know, if, and if things just don't work out, we can always bring them back and let them go. But we're gonna transport him back to our house. We're gonna get on the road. It's late, we got a two hour drive back. Let's get on the road. We'll see you guys back at the house. Here's the setup we got going on for our Anfuma. Currently in a 55 gallon aquarium. We've got a few plants in there so far. We have some pea gravel on the bottom. We're actually going to be adding a layer of sand on top of those pea gravel to kind of simulate the environment he was in. He was kind of in a loose, sandy, gravelly environment. Um, I got some more plants I'm gonna add on to here and some more flat like rock structures over here on this side over here that I'm gonna add. Um, currently I have this little pipe for him to crawl in. He's on the other side of it right now. He's actually in there. And uh, we're gonna keep it heavily vegetated. And uh, this light's not gonna be on very often just because they're nocturnal um, we'll have it on when we're trying to look in there we might even get a more of a more of a nocturnal setting light so he'll be comfortable let's see if we can get see if he's back over here there he is right there he's kind of slinked up in the back I need to kind of wipe that off a little bit but hopefully he'll come around so we can get a good look at him Okay, now that we got him in this tank, you can really see some of his cool features, like his tiny little legs. His really flat shaped head. You can just see how long he is. This really elongated profile that he has. He's so cool. And I'm really excited to add on to this tank and make this the perfect environment for him while he's here in captivity. I think he's going to his tube, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Look at there, he's going to his tube. It's really, really important to have all these structures in here for them to hide in and feel comfortable in just because they spend most of their time, you know, living a very secretive life underneath a bunch of vegetation um, and little crawfish tunnels and just about any sort of structure they can get into, especially during the daylight hours. So I'm not sure if we mentioned this in the field, but we decided to keep the largest Western Lesser Siren that we caught also and bring it home and put it in this nice tank. Uh, this is a 29 gallon. I've got it fixed up so far with some vegetation. I got a little bit of pea gravel and I've got a few minnows in there for him to eat. We're going to catch all sorts of things for him to eat. 
and I'm not completely finished uh, renovating his home. I'm going to add that sand to help imitate the environment that we found him in. Both the Siren and the Infuma do excellent captivity when given the proper care, so Jay and I are both extremely excited to have these guys as new additions to our home. We don't keep everything we catch for our own personal amusement. We like to have these animals on hand from whenever we have visitors that are curious about wildlife and would like to get an up close personal look, you know, people that aren't able to go out on our adventures with us. So it's nice to have these animals here and we also like to have a little bounty of critters available on hand for whenever schools call us and want us to do animal programs or just anytime there's an animal program we get called requesting to do a show. It's just easy to have our animals here instead of having to go out to the field and go catch them every single time. And like I said, I'm not completely finished renovating his home so we will keep you posted on the aquarium as we get it finished up. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed our herping adventures. And if you would like to see more of our herping adventures, please let us know in the comments. And if you liked the video, hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future adventures. We're, We're calling Jay, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.